Now, privately owned high-speed high speed railway Brightline, you might know it from these plans they have in Vegas, but they launched a new route today linking Miami to Orlando. The first train rolling into Miami's station this morning. Brightline saying passengers can expect this trip to take three to three and a half hours, depending on stops. That's a trip that by car takes about four hours. Now, separately, a Brightline train was involved in a deadly accident in Delray Beach today. Police confirming a pedestrian was hit and killed. Joining us now is Brightline owner and New Fortress Energy CEO Wes Edens, along with our very own Morgan Brennan. Uh, quite a day here, Morgan. Uh, it's quite a day. Uh, and Wes, it's great to have you on the show. Thanks for being with us. Uh, major milestone for Brightline. I do want to start, though, the, this fatality. I realize it's under investigation, but it does raise questions when you're talking about intercity rail, about safety. So how are you thinking about that at Brightline in terms of infrastructure and operations? Uh, well, uh, first of all, thanks for having us on, and uh, it is a great milestone for us to celebrate today, so it's, that's really great. I mean, the tragic news this morning of uh, an incident, um, obviously still under investigation, but, you know, um, there's really two um, related issues. One is the issues of just safety, uh, generally speaking. You know, rail uh, transit is the most safe form of transit, period. It's safer than driving a car. It's safer than any other form of, form of transportation. So uh, we know we're on the right side of safety as an industry with it. That said, um, in particular, suicides and you know, self-harm incidents are not just a problem for us, but they're an industry-wide issue that exists. It's something we take very, very seriously. Um, there's obviously a lot of issues about you know, mental health, substance abuse that are kind of wrapped up into those. Those are really, really tragic incidents and uh, something we're deeply concerned about. Um, but we think that when in the, on balance, when you look at the safety record of passenger rail travel, it actually comes out with you know, great remarks. Yeah. And certainly our hearts and prayers out to, to the person uh, this morning in that accident. Uh, but, but, Wes, you and I have been talking about this. This is a major day for Florida. It's a major day for rail advocates. <clears throat> You've come on and spoken to me about, as we've had every step of the way, the, the rollout of this railroad for five years on CNBC, the fact that we're seeing it now. This is the first private passenger rail in a century in the U.S., and we haven't seen it before now because economically it wasn't viable. What's changed? Why now? Uh, it's been a minute, Morgan. It's uh, 100 years since Henry Flagler's train, more than 100 years. You know, since then, we've invented the automobile, the airplane, space travel, cell phones. So what's really happened with rail? Rail 100 years ago was the primary form of travel between cities. You know, the U.S. then made huge investments in interstate highways and in airports, and we have a lot of the, that infrastructure that exists in the country, but we've really fallen way behind in terms of inner city uh, travel. So and over the last 15 years in particular, there's been a massive amount of inner city high-speed rails that have been built around the world. China, hit from a standing start in 2008, has 27,000 miles of high-speed rail. The U.S. has exactly zero. So this is the first, um, what I believe, of, of many of these projects now that will work. We know that the economics work inner city. Um, we have had great uh, response to our passenger service in South Florida to start. But opening today in, in uh, Orlando is a real milestone. This is, uh, there's not that many milestones in life, maybe birth of a child or you know, some other you know, notable event. This is a real, real moment for us and for the industry. And we're really, really excited to be here.